Hello Excel friends. We're going to work through the second part of the practice tasks in section 1.2 of the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Expert Exam Study Textbook. Let's get started. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file 1-2B. So I have it selected here. We'll open it up and get started first task for us is to unlock the cells in range B2 through B6. So we've selected cell B2 right here and I am going to hold down the shift and a down arrow until I get through to B6. Uh, next what we're going to do is unlock these cells. So Excel's, uh, the cells in an Excel worksheet by default are locked. So we actually have to take action in order to unlock them. And I'll show you two ways to do this. One is in the font group here. There's this little box in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, we can click that, and that goes into our cell format dialog box. And we would go over to the protection side, protection tab, toggle locked to unlocked, and click OK. So now these cells are going to remain unlocked for us. The other way we could do it, of course, is through keyboard shortcuts. We'd highlight B2 through through B6, Control Shift F to open that up. We're gonna control page down till we get to protection, and then Alt L will let us toggle that locked um, on or off. So we're gonna leave it off and click OK. The next thing we want to do is protect the cells in range B7 through B8. So this is this is a slightly different process. What it does is we can protect the whole sheet like we did in the last example, uh, either with or without a password. But if we were to distribute it to, to coworkers or colleagues without a password, but we had specific formulas that we wanted to make sure that they didn't get in and accidentally delete or make any changes to, we can specify a password for just that particular range. So that's what we're gonna do here. So we have cells B7 through B8 selected. We are gonna go on to our review tab and we are gonna allow edit ranges up here. So we can either click that or hit U1, and we're gonna hit new. So that box is highlighted. All I need to do is hit enter. Uh, we don't need to retitle this if we don't want to. Confirm that it's the cells that we've highlighted, and we're gonna enter a range password. And so the workbook has specified a password of M0S, excuse me, MOS123, and we have to enter that a second time. So if we forget that password, we're not gonna be able to go back in there. So that's why there's a double check there. So we can now apply this. Okay, so right now, if I was to uh, do something here, well, as you can see, I made a change here. So in order for us to make that, those cells protected, we need to go in and protect the sheet again. So that is the fourth tick box on our instruction list here. So again, we'll Alt R to get into our review worksheet. We are gonna protect the sheet, PS. Um, over here, so there's two things here. In, in the previous sheet, we un had this untoggled where users could not select the lock cells. Uh, so, so people couldn't even at attempt to change anything. In this case, they want us to leave this toggled on. We'll do so. Um, we are gonna still leave it without a password. So what will happen now is users can click any of the cells in the workbook that they would like. Um, whereas before, if you remember, when we clicked around, we couldn't click anything except for the unlock cells. But this is what happens when we try and make a change. So I'm in C4 here. If I start typing, it pops up with a warning saying that I'm on a protected sheet and I, I can't make any changes. So I will click OK. Now when we go in these cells, something different happens. So instead of just telling us, hey, the sheet's protected, you're going to have to go somewhere else, this actually pops up with a password dialog box. And in order to change those cells, we would have to type in that MOS123 password. So I'm not gonna do that because the practice task list doesn't say that. Instead, what we're going to do is save this. 
Again, we're going to F12 to do a save as, and I'm going to change my name here, or the name of the file there, hit save, and now we're going to compare it to the example that was provided to us. So control O, we'll open up a new workbook. I'm going to go into that same objective folder and select the results worksheet workbook. Move it in here so we can see. So in this one, they have given us a password to test this out. So we'll check it out here. So we can select these cells here. If I try and change anything, that warning box pops up. If I try and change any of these cells, up pops our password request. So we will see if the password they gave us works. Okay, there you go. So now I can go in here and completely mess up that formula for the poor soul who created it for me. All right, so that has been unlocked. Um, they want us to close off the results workbook, but leave the other one open for later use. So that's the end of this video for now. Thanks for following along. Again, thumbs up if you thought this was worthwhile. If you didn't think it was worthwhile, please let me know what can I do different for you to make sure that you find these interesting and valuable for your time that you're spending with me. Thanks again. This is Craig with Karsholton Advisory.